Hello guys, you know what time it is. It is time to work on the flower bed. Come join us, won't you? So for those of you that may not know what we're doing here, or this is the first video of the series you're watching, I'm just redoing an old flower bed here and extending it all the way down the side of the house. Uh, what I'm doing is a two tier uh, stone uh, retaining wall. So one will come around here, loop around, and one will be up here, come over, they'll meet up and form a wall all the way down. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is continue to work on removing the dirt down the side of the house. Get as much done as I can. It did rain and by my gosh, it poured. It soaked the ground. So I'm hoping it uh, helped loosen the dirt up, but didn't make it complete mud. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go, but uh, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, wow, making some progress. And yeah, that rain today actually helped a ton uh, because the dirt itself is still sort of dry because the sun's out, but it's still damp, so the shovel goes through the ground nice and easy. Uh, as you can tell, I'm doing pretty good. My only fear is that this is too wide, and I want to bring it back to maybe here. Uh, so I'm going to have a lot more shoveling to do. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to see what Kristen thinks. Also, it looks like I'm curving in a little bit, which is fine. Uh, I just need to straighten that out. Of course, again and then, if I'm coming in here, it doesn't matter because I need to curve in anyways. Oh well, uh, right now it's just clearing ground. This will all get redone and made to look pretty uh, within the next couple weeks, I hope. Well, hey, I'm trying to record here. Thank you. Well, progress has definitely been made. I made it about three quarters, maybe two thirds, maybe not quite three quarters, all the way down the side of the yard again this is going to come down here and kind of turn out a little bit but yeah making progress uh it did get a little bit muddier as i went down the yard uh stayed pretty consistent it is a pretty straight line it is not the straightest line nor does it have to be the straightest line nor am i even sure this line is going to stay the same like i said earlier it might be back here but i'm kind of impressed Tomorrow is going to be an absolutely beautiful day, so I'll be out here working on it tomorrow and the weekend. So I don't want this entire vlog to be all about dirt. Because that's all the vlog is about so far as dirt. So I'm going to get cleaned up, go feed the animals, and uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit about Disney when we get back. Because who doesn't love to talk about Disney? I know I do. Okay, that's a little bit better. I am cooled off, changed. I do need to go get a haircut and a quick beard trim this evening. So I didn't shower, I just put on a clean shirt. I'll shower after all the haircut stuff. So, I said we're gonna talk about Disney. Let's talk about Disney. Uh, D23 convention is starting tomorrow. For those of you that don't know what D23 is, it's the Disney fan club. Uh, and they have a convention every two years, uh, usually in September, uh, August, September. Uh, this year it's in Anaheim, California. What they do at this convention is announce all the big projects, or most of the big projects, coming up for the next two years. So I want to take just a minute or two and uh, tell you what I think uh, they're going to announce, or what I'd like to hear them announce, and then in the comments below, you can tell me what you think they would then are going to announce, or what you'd like to hear them announce. And then next week sometime we'll do another follow-up video and kind of compare, see if we got it right or not. I'm also kind of doing a test to see how recording here at my computer desk works and uh, if you like this format or not. So let's talk about the first category, movies. What I would like to see them announce as far as movies go, uh, course animations. Uh, there is a lot of uh, live action stuff on past animation movies coming out. Uh, but what about new animated stuff? I'd like to hear some of their new animation projects to see, uh, you know, what's they're planning over the next two to three years. Marvel, uh, we know that there's a phase four. We know a lot of the titles of the movies in phase four, but I want to know more details about some of those movies uh, and how they're going to kind of interlace with each other, how they interweave and how they uh, will all be part of the bigger Marvel universe. 
Uh, so I want to know more about the Marvel movies, and I f have a feeling they're going to tell us about that. Star Wars. Uh, the Skywalker Saga ends in December. Rise of the Skywalker is the last movie of that trilo well, tr trilogy of trilogies, the nine series of movies. Uh, so with that being said, we know there's another trilogy coming uh, besides the standalone movies. I want to know more about that standalone or the new trilogy. I want to know, you know, what it's going to be about, who's this going to be about, where it's going to take place, how far into the future is it going to be. I also want to know about any other, uh, you know, standalone movies that they're going to have. I heard there's a couple, in, you know, thoughts out there. I would love for them to make some announcements about uh, Star Wars. Also, going from movies to TV, I'm super excited to hear more about the Disney Plus uh, TV package. I am getting the Disney Plus TV package. I also heard there's a bundle with Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus for like $12.99. I will be getting that bundle. Uh, so I want to know more about that. So that covers movies and that covers TV. Next, let's talk about theme parks. I love theme parks. You guys probably love theme parks. Predictions about theme parks. I'm sure. I am 100% sure they're going to announce things that were will be improved at the Magic Kingdom and things that are going to be happening at the Magic Kingdom for the 50th anniversary coming up in a couple of years. I'm almost guaranteeing that they're going to make some of those announcements at D23. Uh, also, I'm sure they're going to make some announcements uh, what's going to happen at uh, Epcot. Epcot is going through some major renovations. They showed us a little bit of concept art last D23. I'm hoping, in fact, I'm almost sure we'll hear about that, uh, more about that project. Over in uh, California, uh, Marvel Land. Uh, we'll hope to get more details about Marvel Land. And then uh, just general details about other things happening across the world uh, at their parks. Uh, there was a lot, a lot of things happening and all the parks across the world with Disney. Uh, but I'm really hoping to hear about Magic Kingdom 50th anniversary, Epcot, and maybe something new coming to uh, Animal Kingdom. I don't think there'll be any major announcements about uh, Hollywood Studios. That's pretty much, park is pretty much done. Except maybe an opening date for Mickey's Runaway Railroad. Rail, rail, railroad. railroad. Uh, I want to hear about Marvel Land and other projects throughout the world. So that's what I think we're going to hear about park-wise. The third category is other Disney things. Other Disney things is like the cruise line. Uh, I know they bought another island uh, somewhere in the Bahamas. Well, maybe some details about that island. Um, maybe uh, building another ship or something. Maybe adding more itineraries to it. Uh, maybe resorts, more resorts, resort type stuff. Sometimes that's included in the theme park, sometimes it's on its own. Uh, maybe some new resorts, some expanded resorts, some resorts other places than Anaheim and Orlando. Like they built one in Hawaii. Uh, I know there's a resort on uh, Hilton Head Island. Maybe they're going to do stuff like that. That would be cool to hear. Uh, and there is a secret project that no one really knows about. No one knows what it is. Uh, and that's actually getting, uh, I think, they said they're going to tell us tonight what it is, so we'll talk about that uh, announcement when we record the second part of this video next week. But all kind of stuff they're going to announce and they can announce and I'm hoping they announce. So leave a comment below, what would you like to hear them announce at the D23 convention? Uh, are you going to be following it all weekend? I will be kind of glued to the internet uh, as much as I can to be following what's going on. So I'm super excited. One year, I hope I can make it to a D23 convention. Uh, just can't afford it right now, especially when they're out in uh, California. If they ever come to Florida, I'll try to get there, but who knows when that will happen. Typically, they're in California. So yeah, now that we got all the Disney stuff over and uh, that, I'm going to go get this and this cleaned up. Well, look who it is. Yeah. My honey made it home. He did. Yay, after she gave me a nice haircut. Uh-huh. Doesn't that look better? Look cleaner? I like it. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the flower bed is coming along great. Yeah. Uh, hopefully within the next two weeks we can get it done. It's kind of my goal. Two weeks to get it done. I feel like it's going to take longer. What, but I was going to say, I what mean, was that face? Where's your optimism? I mean, we might be able to do it. I can't I really help can. you working on it. So. I know. You work too much. 
<laughs> at night at least. Uh, D23 Expo. I kept I kept calling it D23 Convention. It's a D23 Expo. I'm excited for all the announcements. I cannot wait to like hear what's going on. I, I get crazy this time of year. Yeah, you do. But I love Disney. I know. And Disney parks. And I know. All things Disney. I know. Uh, but yeah, it is time to uh, go to bed, especially yeah. if you're home. That means I it's know. definitely time to go to bed. Uh, let the doggies out. Yep. And uh, end this, and we will talk to you guys next time. Good night, guys. Bye.